My name is Fake Oluwashio. I'm, I'm from Lagos, Nigeria, and I'm a furniture maker. And I've been into this business for about over a year now, and it's been an awesome journey. I actually heard about Powering from a friend. He sent me the link and I applied and I was shortlisted. And so the journey began. And I must say that it's been a very insightful and very educative one. Uh, I remember the first few classes that we had. The one from, um, from Jenny, the one from Simon Sinek, um, Shelley Nefula, and Colette Indy. Those sessions really helped me to have a shift in my entrepreneurial mindset. You know, I have not really been somebody who has been, who has had, who has been into pricing. And I knew I needed something like this to help me get that into my head. I knew I needed a change, you know, in my life, especially financially. And I knew that to do that, I needed a business of my own. And so I got into furniture making, you know, hustling, you know, hustling, like Victor said, hustling. But thank God for power. You know, those first few sessions, I was glued to power. Uh, I had a complete change. I remember Sinek, Simon Sinek saying something about us having a continuous cultivating, nurturing, and never ending, fortifying, positive nature mindset to business. Uh, I remember Jenny talking about knowing our why, letting us realize that when we know our why, it helps us raise our passion and gives us focus to know you know into the business or into the into entrepreneurship uh, I remember Sinek talking about you know if you want to become if you want to be more if you want to attract more you yourself have to become more so there's a need for that personal development and those are the things I have learned from power I remember um, sharing Nefola's class and Colette Indy those two ladies gave me a boost of encouragement because they actually told you know, made us to realize how they went down. They went from straight down and with determination, knowing their wise, not giving up, deciding in their hearts that they're going to give it all that it takes to succeed in their businesses. And so it was an encouraging testimony from them, knowing that I'm not alone in feeling as though everything wants to crumble. And I'm not alone in knowing that I can get up from all from you know from being down so it's been awesome and it's been so beautiful i remember victor's class victor's class was like i was slapped in the face i wouldn't lie because i knew that before now i was actually hustling in my business and when i look at the meaning of hustling you know you're struggling you are you are being pushed you know get to a point it's like you're tired you're tired but in entrepreneur being an entrepreneur you have to thrive you have to have the mindset that you're going to thrive. And so, Victor laid all that down. Uh, I remember um, Shion Shongulaya's class. Wow! Shion Shongulaya's class really, really, really got me excited. And I you know I started researching on my business and uh, putting things together, you know, to create my wonderful pitch. And I'm looking forward to my very first pitch. I remember... Uh, the class with um, um, Agatha, Agatha, yes, because she was the one that, that uh, taught us on digital marketing. And that was a learning point for me because I've not really been somebody who has been, who is a good marketer, let me put it that way. I've not been someone that really wants to put myself out there. And I realized that if you want to succeed in business, you have to put yourself out there. And so Agatha Open, our, open us to the tools that we can use to put ourselves and our businesses out there and attract more customers. And that was fantastic. I remember the last class too by Daminola Salawo. It was awesome, really beautiful, helping us to understand uh, the legal things that would help us not to fall into the wrong hand and be able to boost our businesses. I must say that I'm grateful to Powen for this opportunity. I have learned a lot and I'm ready to put my all into my business to make it a success. Thank you, Mrs. Um, um, Kendi Peters, for having the courage to you know, start up a program like this to help women all over Africa to be able to have 
you know successful businesses thank you so much i say god bless you